Hello, I'm Stephen Thomas. I'm a podiatrist, which is a foot and ankle specialist, and I'm based in Harley Street in London. In this video, I'm going to cover the topic of smelly feet, which is medically known as bromidosis. So I will cover the causes, some treatment options, and I'll even try to put some links in the description below of some products you may be able to try. So if you know somebody with stinky feet, make sure you send them the link. So there are three main factors that contribute to smelly feet. One of them is bacteria, two is body sweat, and three, the environment. So number one, the bacteria. We all have a natural flora of bacteria on our skin, but there's certain types of bacteria that can produce a gas. And these different gases will smell like different smells. So for example, there's a brevi bacteria that produces a gas that smells quite like cheese. So the second factor is body sweat. We all sweat to some degree, but sweat contains nutrients that these bacteria really like to multiply. So as you can imagine, the more you sweat, the more it's going to encourage more bacterial growth, which will then in turn produce more body odor. So the third factor is the environment. So if you imagine your feet kept in this sweaty and unclean environment, it's just gonna exacerbate all these problems. So the different treatment options are based on targeting these three areas. So number one, the bacteria. The best way to reduce bacterial load is by washing your feet twice a day using antibacterial soap. There is a product called Hibby Scrub, which healthcare professionals use to wash their hands before performing surgical procedures. So this kind of soap would be ideal for you. You should also try to reduce any hard skin and keep your nails short and filed. A podiatrist will be able to help you with this. In some severe cases, your GP may be able to consider some prescription medications, such as uh, fusidic acid, which is an antibiotic cream, or even some oral antibiotics. So second, targeting the sweat. If you can use an antiperspirant that contains aluminium chloride, this is supposed to be extremely effective in reducing sweat production. For more severe cases, you can use a treatment called iontophoresis. Now, iontophoresis is where you dip your feet in two shallow trays of water and a mild current is passed between them. And this reduces sweat production by up to about 80%. The only thing with this is you'd have to perform the treatments on average about once a week, and you'd have to purchase your own machine. And the third way of reducing sweat is consideration of Botox injections. So you'd numb the foot first using local anesthetic and then some injections of Botox in underneath the foot, which stop any sweat gland production. And the third and final treatment is by controlling the environment. So number one is the socks and number two, the shoes. So the socks, choose socks with a natural fiber, such as cotton or bamboo. Bamboo supposedly absorbs twice as much, much moisture than cotton does. So something like this would be very good because it draws the moisture away from your foot. The other thing with socks is if you can wash them at a high temperature above 60 degrees, this should kill the bacteria at every cycle. And shoes, try to choose shoes that have natural fibers and ideally if they have some ventilation. And of course, try to make sure that you can dry the shoes out thoroughly before using them again. And if you can use antibacterial products in the shoes, you'll also target this at the same time. I hope you found that video useful. Please click like if you enjoyed the video. You can subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date and pop any comments you have down below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you soon, thank you.